Hello and welcome along to the vlog, An Englishman in the Balkans with me David and this is a vlog about my life here in the Western Balkans. I live in a village, it's all about six to seven kilometres away from the nearest town and about 21 kilometres away from the nearest city. Very rural and uh, not much in the way of infrastructure. The nearest uh, shop is only a little kiosk and that's about a kilometre away and we don't even have a bus service here. Um, although we do have um, a bus shelter for the school bus that comes in twice a day for the two shifts of school, Monday to Friday. So being rural has its problems and the problems that we had when we first moved here was trying to get decent internet. The telephone lines are still very old fashioned, uh, they hang up on these poles uh, and they come in and it is very intermittent. Over the years things have got better um, and now there is sort of like semi-broadband but also not very fast and once again when we get power cuts and everything it's very intermittent. So two years ago um, I decided after talking to Tam that we needed to upgrade our equipment. What we did was we invested in satellite. Uh, we use a service called uh, Europasat. It's operated from uh, the United Kingdom and it has a satellite that looks all over the Western Balkans and right over to Italy and Spain. So really as a business model it's capturing lots of expats just like us. Um, so I ordered the equipment. It was a bit difficult to get hold of. Uh, we had to have it delivered to Zagreb uh, and then when we went up to Zagreb we got this big box and we came back and it took us little less than two and a half hours to assemble it, to put it on a pole. Predrag, Tam's father, put a pole up uh, and then we put the dish together. Once we did that we had a simple modem and it came with a Wi-Fi router. Um, that was easy to put together. It was a little bit fiddly putting the laptop into the router and then actually finding uh, the satellite in the sky, so to speak. But, uh, you know, a little bit of trial and error and we got a really, really good uh, broadband signal that comes down. Our problems, though, are still on occasions, it's a little bit weak signal uh, in the winter when we get lots of snow and when we get lots of uh, rain and believe it or not when we get exceedingly bright sunny days up to 40 degrees the low 40s sometimes in the summer I think we get um, uh, problems there but in the main it's okay we have a hundred gigabyte um, limit for the month and we can't go over that when we get to 40 uh, from about five o'clock in the evening our time it's choked down and I suppose that's because there's lots of people uh, around southern Europe and the Balkans here from Britain that are all hooking on to YouTube and Netflix and they're actually draining um, a lot of the data so we do suffer a little bit with that um, but it's not um, a showstopper but the router um, is in the living room in the house and I have my office in a little building outside so how do we get our signal from uh, our data from the router to the office? Well, we use power plugs. I like to call them power plugs, um, where we just feed the data from the main router into the electrical system of the house and at varying outlets, like I have one in my office, Tam has one in her office, and we have one up here at the top of the house, and we can take uh, our data via cable uh, from the power system so I think they're called uh, power plugs but they're really good for us uh, and it's been a boon to have found that and it's made our life um, a lot easier. It's one of the things as I say for living here uh, in this beautiful rural uh, location you can't have everything you can't have all the modern infrastructure and the peace and the tranquility and and the birds and, and everything else that we have here so for me that little sacrifice of choking internet and weather problems on occasions um, is very well worth it. Well, that's how we get our internet here in uh, a village in Northern Bosnia. How do you get your internet if you are somewhere very unusual, like on a narrow boat, or if you're driving around in a van, or, or whatever? It would be very, very interesting um, to find out. Please put your comments below, as with any questions. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe and I've just opened a Patreon page as well you'll find that link here as well in the description and if you feel like it why not to 
join our Patreon community where you get lots of added value videos uh, that aren't published here every week on the main channel. Well, that's it from me, David. Stay safe until we see each other again very soon. Thank you.